This is the magic of, the power of this. Starting is such a big undertaking and not know it's if you're gonna get to the end. And this is what we don't know about life either. We don't know where we're going. So it's the unknown who actually excites me that much. And knowing that every second of this life, it's like that in real life. We don't know what's coming. Jen, she is my biggest fan. How are you doing? Good, good. And I tell you like a secret, but today she's the best assistant ever. I need to see. Uh, but don't forget that she's. So I'm so happy uh, having her in my side um, to be able to go through those those difficult time also before I go. It's always a bit tense. Yeah. Yeah. Latter Coffee latte. Or? La latte time. Uh, latte yeah. time. It's gonna be finished soon, you know. I'm gonna be in a bush like. Yeah. With nothing, no coffee, no, no smoothie, no, no nothing. So she's there, I can't count on her and it, it's amazing feeling, really. So this time, this expedition has to be really light because um, I'm going with a surviving, 100 person surviving objective. So no food and I will have like nothing, just the the gear that I need to hunt and to survive during the during those four months. I've got amazing slingshot from the States also. It's a beauty and for me it's a new experience. I've done it before but not that long. You know when you're sitting on a fire, you haven't eaten for a few days and you're thinking, God, when is the next meal coming from? And What's gonna be? It's gonna be insects, white hand, or something more consistent, or fish, or mollusk, or um, barramundi. That's a dream, you know, those big fish living in those uh, brackish water up there. Um, yeah, so I'm just wondering about all that now. If you don't understand the landscape and you don't feel one with nature, you don't get this harmony, like it's, it's like a deep core with nature, you go nowhere. So after 23 years of walking and doing expedition and all over the world, um, this is the ultimate challenge. This is where my heart is. is. It's not about how many kilometers I'm going to do. It's not about how far I will go. It's how. I could be surviving with nature, how I could be good with only one thing watching me, it's nature. So I've got five big river systems to cross. Huge river, full of crocodiles most of the time. So how to cross those rivers? That's my problem. And to, to respond to this problem, I find a solution with the pack raft. The pack raft is a really ultralight little raft that I can blow anytime in two seconds. Like you blow the thing, it's 1.9 kilogram. 
of weight and it's so practical and then I will cross the river as fast as I can obviously without hoping the crocodile doesn't see me and uh, then arrive to the next bench and then pack up my thing and go and this is the plan to cross the river we see they could change but today it's the plan You know, the mind is a powerful tool and if you doubt a little bit, like if you think 99.99% you will maybe succeed, it's not enough. You need to think and be sure about every little space in your body has to think 100%, focus and determinate. And your energy, it's toward this goal whatsoever, that's it. And you have to believe in only one thing. You have to believe in yourself. <laughs>